Aguad Fort, built in 1612, served as a vantage point and a watering station for ships heading to Portugal. Aguad Jail served as a safe berth for Portuguese ships. It served as a chief defense of Portuguese against the Dutch. This 17th century colonial prison lies south of Kandoli, a village in North Goa. Let's go on a journey to see what was Goa's top security jail once upon a time. Aguad Central Jail, as it was formerly known, is a part of the Aguad Fort and which was the largest prison in Goa till 2015. As you enter the jail you come across two statues, one of a man and another of a woman. The woman with her arms raised, breaking the chains which bind her resembles liberation of Mother India from foreign yoke. The man cradling the body of a dead comrade resembles the sacrifices made by freedom fighters for Goa's and India's freedom struggle. These statues were sculpted by Goa's famous sculptor Vishnu Mahadev Kunkolkar. The Agwad Central Jail was renovated and developed into a jail museum by Goa Tourism Department Corporation in consultation with Goa Heritage Action Group and Goa's Freedom Fighter. It was inaugurated on 19 December 2021 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Goa's 60th Liberation Day. This used to be ladies' ward, lodging lady prisoners. The two sentry or watch points you see here were used to keep a watch on prison inmates' movements. The Portuguese inscription on the plaque above this shrine tells us that this shrine is dedicated to Sri Nagesh Maharudra, a divine form of Lord Mahadev, during the reign of Portugal's King Dom Philip III. Spring water from the upper fort flows underneath this shrine throughout the year. This water was collected in a reservoir exactly behind the shrine. A glass slab has been placed on the floor to show the flow of water from the reservoir to the shrine. The water from this reservoir was collected and supplied to ships traveling to Portugal. It was said that the water from this spring remained fresh during the entire voyage of the ship. A memorial plaque at the entrance of the jail superintendent's block honors the sacrifice of two officers of the Indian Army who were killed in action here on 18 December 1961. The two martyrs were Major Shivdev Singh Sidhu and Captain Vijay Kumar Segal.
This used to be the superintendent's block where all high-ranking officials and royal visitors met at this erstwhile prison. This is the path prisoners took before they were incarcerated in Aguada's prison cells. The cannons lined up all along the former jail's rampart reminds us of the days when this fort was highly guarded. At its peak, the Aguad fort boasted of 79 cannons demonstrating its immense firepower capable of smashing enemy ships with ease. The laterite walls shielded the fort from invading destroyer ships. These cannons were lined up and fired in a sequence one after another. This strategy allowed the heated cannons to cool down before they would be ready for the next firing round. This is a sentry post where a guard used to be stationed 24 by 7 keeping a hawk's eye over the sea and also manning the entry and exit of the main prison area. This bell notified the entry and exit of officials and was also used to raise an alarm for impending dangers. The huge door leading to the main prison area was heavily guarded by prison officials, as a tribute for all those who fought for Goa's liberation from Portuguese colonialism, a list of names are displayed on these walls in alphabetical order. This prison cell is dedicated to Dr. Tristau de Briganza Kuna, father of Goan nationalism and a former prisoner of this jail. This used to be a torture cell where freedom fighters were mercilessly beaten up and brutally tortured for their opposition to Portuguese dictator Salazar's rule. These stairs lead up to the prison cells that will testify the horrors and gruesomeness the fortified walls have witnessed over the years. The most notorious and the most wanted prisoners were incarcerated here.
This is a chapel dedicated to Nossa Senra the Bom Voyagem or Our Lady of Good Voyage. Facing the sea, this chapel used to be the last thing sailors used to see as their ship sailed over the horizon. Next to the chapel, there is a small temple of Sri Vithal for Hindu devotees. This is a prison cell dedicated to Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, a freedom fighter and socialist leader who launched a movement to fight for the lost civil liberties of the Gonds. The sealed door on the right used to be a solitary prison cell. Beneath this cell is believed to be a secret escape route connected to a tunnel. At this open courtyard, prison inmates used to assemble for morning prayers and for any prison functions. This open area was also used by Portuguese guards to torture prisoners to serve as a warning to prisoners, watching from their cells, as to what happens on disobeying orders.
the Portuguese used to fill drums of fresh water and roll them down this ramp for the ships waiting to depart for Portugal. These used to be officers' quarters where prison officials used to lodge. Every year, on the 18th of June, in commemoration of Goa's clarion call for Goa's liberation movement, Goa's freedom fighters assemble at the entrance of this centuries-old prison and raise the Indian tricolor paying homage to the sacrifices made by all freedom fighters. In its 410-year-old history, the impregnable Agwad jail has hosted many rulers, fought many victorious battles, hosted several freedom fighters and rehabilitated numerous criminals. Its creators are long gone. But this iconic structure continues to stand tall. This historic monument celebrates the heroic and brave freedom fighters who offered their supreme sacrifices so that Goa and the people of Goa could be free from the foreign yoke. Jaya Hind!